Hello, my friends. When you compile your app, each XML layout file is compiled into a view resource. You should load the layout resource from your app code in your activity.onCreate method callback implementation. Do so by calling setContentView method, passing it the reference to your layout resource in the form of r.layout.layoutfile. So you want to be a professional Android app developer, but you don't know where you should start, what things you should learn, you came to the right place. Welcome to our top bestseller Android app development course, a comprehensive program designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge required to excel in the exciting field of Android app development. So, for example, if your XML layout is saved as main underscore layout .xml, you would load it for your activity like in Kotlin, we use in the onCreate method, we set the content view r dot layout dot main underscore lay, uh, layout and in java set content view in the same way r dot layout dot main underscore layout so we set the content view method to the layout that we've created in the layout resources folder inside the onCreate function in java and after you've declared your layout in XML, save the file with the .xml extension in your Android projects rest on the layout directory so it will properly compile. The onCreate method. The onCreate method callback method in your activity is called by the Android framework when your activity is launched. We will see this method later on when we talk about the app lifecycle. The common layouts in Android, each subclass of the view group class provides a unique way to display the views you nest within, like the Ninian layout, relative layout, web view, list view, list view, and the grid view, and the constraint layout. So the linear layout, a linear layout that recognize or organize its children into a single horizontal or vertical low. Either you put the children in a vertical, vertical or horizontal row. It creates a scroll bar if the length of the window exceeds the length of the screen. The relative layout enables you to specify the location of child object relative to each other child a to the left of child b or to the parent aligned to the top of the parent and so on the web view is used to display the web pages the constraint layouts as we see in this figure a b c we see the constraints Constraint layout allows you to create large and complex layouts with a flat view hierarchy, no nested view groups. It's similar to relative layout in that all views are, are laid out according to the relationships between sibling views and the parent layout, but it's more flexible than relative layout and easier to use with Android Studio's layout editor. And mainly, this is the most important layout that we will use it through this course and through developing our applications. And it's very important and powerful layout. Other layouts with adapters. Common layouts backed by an adapter include list view that displays a scrolling single column list. The grid view displays a scroll, scor, scrolling grid of uh, columns and rows. Later on, we will see this in advanced views, the list view, grid view, uh, and other advanced widgets um, in the advanced views section. But till now, we are going to concentrate on these layouts and mainly on the